Yay! It looks like I just made a sale on my The Incredible Hulk first Planet Hulk appearance, first and second print. What's up guys, welcome back to JRU Productions. This video is for all the eBay sellers and comic book collectors. So as an eBay seller myself, last time I made a video, I don't think I did it completely because I had some complaints from my eBay buyer saying that my comic books were damaged. So this one will be comprehensive, guys. As you can see right here, I made the sale on these two awesome Incredible Hope Planet of Hope comic books. And of course, being only two kind of books, I need to protect it properly so I don't get any complaints. I don't want to deal with any refunds. Nobody want to deal with that. So here are the tools that you need. Scissors, Sharpie marker, duct tape. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you know, duct tape. <laughs> and I like to use the USPS flat rate envelopes. Trust me, flat rate is a lot cheaper than getting it weighed. I like the padded envelope and this handle is probably upwards to like uh, 12 to 13 comic books bag and board it now what I also like to use is their medium boxes because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into the shape you know to fit it in the size of a comic bigger than a comic so I'm using this as a template and the dimensions that I'm always cutting is roughly 11 and 5 8 inches by 9 and 3 8 inches that will fit inside this pen and envelope. By the way, I love to go to the U.S. Post Office and get plenty of these every time, you know, mailing labels, um, these boxes because they're always free. And to get these plat padded flat rate envelopes, you can even have them sent to your house for free. Check out this whole box for free one, see? I'm gonna cut off the ends and just mark it as a template for this shape to cut. All right, so that's one done. I have a complete set right here. Of course, I'm gonna need another one. In case you're wondering why this size, because it's gonna fit in here. See how that covers it? Fits perfectly inside this had an envelope so make sure you save the end tabs let me show you why all right so now I have two of these dividers protective walls cut I'm just going to insert it in here what I like to do it's to face it back to back. That way, no front facing, the front cover of the comic is facing the outside. And I like to add some free comics, you know, stuff that's not valuable on top of that, just for added protection. And now I'm gonna go to in sandwich it between the two cardboard walls, like so. Now here is when these side tabs come in handy. I'm gonna insert it in here. And of course, if it's too long, cut off the end. And just keep on adding these tabs to cover the whole bag. You know, fill in the sides, the middle, the center, so nothing is wasted. As you can see right here, it's sandwiched in like a tank. Layers, multiple layers of protection. And of course, the more comics in the bag, the better. So here's 10 issues of Star Wars that I also sold. This is going to fit in here, but you're not going to put, have as much space of putting these uh, cardboard pieces. And here is what 10 comics looks like. All the Star Wars ones are in here. It's also well protected. So the more comics, the better. So once I feel that it's well protected, of course, I'm going to seal that off properly. And then don't forget to put your mailing slip with the to and the from. 
Now, what I also like doing is to write, do not bend on both sides. Unless you have one of those stamps or stickers. But I prefer to write it out because it's a lot cheaper of a marker. Now here is a, a pro tip. I like to seal it off with duct tape in case it gets damaged because there's a lot of sharp corners and everything. You don't know if it gets shifted. Pe some complaints have pictures that includes that, you know, oh, the packaging is damaged. Man, I, I tell you, eBay bars are some of the most pickiest. So one end, I have it sealed off, right? I like to also seal off the... Uh, Front. It's like they love to find ways so they can get a refund. I swear. Like who cares about the the packaging as long as the comic book's not damaged. So both ends. Trust me. Somebody actually did complain and show me pictures of <laughs> this end being damaged. All right. So we, this is it. See how it's well protected. So when the mailman delivers it they know not to jam it into the mailbox so there you have it i know it is a quite a bit of work but trust me you don't want to deal with ebay refunds these comics are good to go